Welcome, this is my instructional video for section 17.2, Reflections. Okay, so here's the thing, we have a reflection. We have a line of reflection, so we're going to have line L here, the line of reflection. And so we go from A to A prime. We're going to go across the line so it's perpendicular to the line. That's the key. And whatever this distance here is from A to the line of reflection, the distance on the other side is exactly the same. And that's true for A, B, and C, and all the points that connect A, B, and C. So how do we do this? Well, I look at the slope of line L, and look, it's got a slope of negative 1, so we go down 1 over 1. So to go perpendicular to that, our slope is going to be up 1 over 1, up 1 over 1. So here's what's going on. How do I get to where this intersects line L? How about over 2 and up 2? So how do I go on the other side? Well, I do a mirror image. I continue going up 2, and I go over 2. And there's A prime. And there's B. Where's point B from the line of reflection? Well, it's over 1 to the right and up 1. So I do the same thing on the other side. Up 1, over 1 to the right, boom. There's B prime right there. And then for C, how do I get to the line of reflection? Now, the line of reflection is going up like this. So that point's going to be right in here. So how about over 2 and a half and up 2 and a half? So I'm going to go up a half and 2 right here, and over half and 2 right here, boom. There's point C prime. And then I'm ready to draw in my figure. So A prime to C to B prime, B prime to C prime, C prime back to A prime. If you look at this right here, that should be a reflection of each other across that line now. <clears throat> here we go. Same thing. Now, point C is right on it, so that's easy. So when I reflect it by the L, it's going to be right here. So C prime is right there. Okay, I thought I was in the blue marker for some reason. Let's try that again. So here's point C. There's C prime. <clears throat> point B, going to the line of reflection. Now, what's this line? This line here goes up. It is up 1 over 2 is the slope. So we're going to do the opposite. We're going to go down 2 and over 1, down 2 and over 1, right on the line of reflection. So we did two iterations of that. So over 1, down 2, over 1, down 2. There's my two iterations on the other side. There's point B prime. So we're going to go over 1, up 2, over 1, up 2 twice. So over 1, up 2, over 1, I'm sorry. Yeah, over 1, up 2 twice there to B. So we're directly across. And for A, we're going to go down 2, over 1. So And that takes us right to the line of reflection. So we're going to do one iteration of that, over 1 and down 2. So there's A prime. And there's our figure reflected across the line of reflection. We just draw a line that reflects that. So from A prime to B prime, from B prime to C prime, and from C prime to A prime. And when you look at that, you say, hey, the black triangle, the blue triangle, they look like they're reflections of each other across that line now. Well, I think that's it. Okay, same thing here. Now we're going to the line of reflection. The slope here is from here. Oops, I want to be in the writing mode again. So from this corner right here, it looks like we're down 2 over 1. <clears throat> so perpendicular to that, instead of having a vertical change of 2 and a horizontal change of 1, we're going to do a horizontal change of 2, vertical change of 1. Horizontal change of, uh, vertical change of 1, horizontal change of 2. Boom, there's A prime. And then C prime, over 2, down 1. So down 1 over 2 on the other side of the line of reflection. There's C prime. For B, over 2, down 1, over 2, down 1. So we did two of those iterations. Took us to the line of reflection, so we go two iterations the other side. Down 1 over 2, down 1 over 2. There's my two iterations. There's B prime. And then we connect the dots. Okay, that didn't connect very well. From A prime to B prime, B prime to C prime, C prime to A prime. You look at that, said, yeah, that pretty much looks like a reflection about line L. From the pre-image to the image. Okay, here's some rules for doing reflections across axes or fixed lines like the line Y equals X, which is the line at 45 degrees going up like that, and the line Y equals negative X, which is the line going down at 45 degrees. 
then the slope here would be like up one over one and the slope here will be down one over one that's this line here is the first one on the left this line here is the one on the right you know so we reflect across the x-axis x stays the same y becomes the opposite when we reflect across the y-axis y stays the same the x changes to be the opposite we go across the line y equals x then we go from x comma y to y comma x we transpose the variables and when we go across the line y equals negative x we not only transpose the variables but they change signs as well so x comma y becomes negative y comma negative x there we go there's our rules for thumb for writing rules reflect the figure across the given line we're going to go across the y-axis so what does this mean well when we go across the y-axis x is going to become the opposite and y is going to stay the same so m prime y stays the same so that's still 2 and x becomes the opposite that's going to be negative 1 and for n prime x is going to be the opposite so that's going to be negative 1 and y is going to be the same that's going to be positive 4 and for p prime Again, x is going to uh, become the opposite, so 3 is going to map across to negative 3. But the y stays the same, so that's going to stay positive 3. Boom, there we go. So we have a y-axis that looks like this. I drew that kind of crooked. But hey, when I reflect it across, when we reflect across this way, it's like here. So whatever this value for x is here, say like 4, then over on here, this side, it's going to be negative 4. So the x is going to change, but the y stays the same. So whatever y value you at, when you're on a horizontal line, stays the same. So x is the opposite, so y stays the same. x is the opposite, y stays the same. x is the opposite, y stays the same. Bam. <coughs> Reflect the figure across the line y equals x. Okay, that means we're going to transpose the variables. So d prime, instead of going from 2 comma 0, that's going to be 0 comma 2. And for e prime, 2 comma 2, well that's right on the line y equals x, so that when I transpose these guys, I switch them, that's the same point. <laughs> well, they're on the line, so it makes sense the reflection's still on the line. f prime, so 5 comma 2, we're going to transpose that, that's going to be 2 comma 5. And point G is 5 comma 1, so when I reflect it across the given line, that's going to be 1 comma 5. Boom, there we go. Next problem. Go across the x-axis. So here's the x-axis like this, and we're going to go across it. So we're going to go like this, so what's going to happen? Hey. X is going to be the same number for both these guys, but whatever this guy is, that guy's going to be the opposite. Whatever that guy is, this guy up here is going to be the opposite. So Y becomes the opposite, X stays the same. So for S prime, X stays the same, so X is still 3. Y becomes the opposite, so 4 maps to negative 4. T prime, X stays the same, so that's still 3. But the y value 1 maps to its opposite value, which is negative 1. u prime. x stays the same, so that's still negative 2. But y is going to map from positive 1 to its opposite, which is negative 1. And then for v prime. x stays the same, so negative 2 stays the value for x. But y up here that's positive 4 is going to map to its opposite, which is negative 4. There we go. Okay, across the line y equals negative x. So we're going to transpose. We're going to switch x and y and change both signs. So this is the most complicated one. So a prime is going to become uh, negative 2 is going to come across to x, but change sides will be positive 2. And the y is going to be this x, but it's going to be the opposite of this x, which is positive 4. And then b prime. The x value is going to be the opposite of this y value, so that's positive 1. The y value is going to be the opposite of this x value, that's going to be positive 1. C prime. The, y, the x value is going to be the opposite of the y value, which is positive 4. 
and the y values can be the opposite of this x value, so it'll be positive 1. And there we go. There's our reflection across the line, y equals negative x. Now, given that a, a prime, b prime, c prime is the image of a, b, c after reflection, draw the line of reflection. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to draw the line from corresponding points like b to b prime. And then we're going to draw a line perpendicular uh, to, that, to that. That's how this is going to work. So we could use any of these points to do that. So a prime to a, or a to a prime. Look here, it's like, hey, we're going to go over 1, up 2, over 1, up 2. So the midpoint's right in here. And this slope here is up 2, over 1. So the reciprocal that's going to be um, over 2, down 1. So the line of reflection is going to look like that. Oh, there's our line of reflection. Okay, this guy right here. So I'm going to draw a line from B to B prime. And we're going to change the line of reflection to red. So look, we're going down one over one, down one over one, right? So the middle point, middle point's right here. And the, the uh, inverse of that is going uh, down one over one to the left, like this. So we're going to go about like that. So this guy has a slope of negative 1, and then this guy here has a slope of positive 1. And notice, if they're uh, perpendicular, which they are, the slopes are opposite reciprocals of each other. Yes, the slope of negative 1 on the blue line is the opposite reciprocal of the positive 1 slope for the red line. So there we go. Okay, this one looks a little funky. So let's do the line from A to A prime. Oops, we should be in line drawing mode here. <clears throat> now what's our slope? Uh, down 2 over 1, right? So this is a slope of negative 2, and here's the midpoint, because we go down 2 over 1, and we go one more repetition, down 2 over 1, there's a prime. So this guy's right in the middle. So this is the point that's on the midpoint between a and a prime, so this is on the axis of reflection, and we're going to go on the uh, opposite slope of this other guy, actually the reciprocal slope. So instead of down 2 over 1, we're going to go down 1 over 2. Boom, like that. I'm just going to extend this out until it looks like it's pretty much there. There we go. The line of reflection for the two objects from ABC to A prime, B prime, C prime. Oh, and that's it. And we're under 15 minutes. I'm digging that. Okay, that concludes this lesson. I hope you got something out of it. Uh, other than that, have a good day. Ciao.